In this video, I'm going to show you how to update hardware drivers, specifically your motherboard drivers. So what are we talking about here? So click on start, go up here to computer, right click computer and go to manage. Your user account control will ask you, do you want to allow the program to make changes? Click yes. And then this guy will open your computer management utility. And down here, device manager. And these are all the drivers or connected components that are on your computer. So the ones that we're specifically talking about here is the motherboard drivers. So that's under system devices. So click on it there. So system devices. And these here now are all the chipset drivers. And the main controller here is the interface controller. Express chip family, LPC interface controller. So to update this, right click, and you can do the same with each and every one of these. Right click, go down here to properties, or you can just go update driver software. But we're gonna go into properties, just open the driver itself. So click on drivers there, the second tab, and you'll see update driver. So these numbers are confusing. When you go out onto the, um, the motherboard manufacturer's website, these numbers may not be the same as what's on the website and it can be very confusing. So the best way to do it is to check to see if you have the proper driver for this particular motherboard is to click on update driver. And then you get two options here. So you can browse for the driver software, which will bring you into the default drivers that's already installed on your computer, or you can go and search for the latest driver out on the website, on the manufacturer's website. So this will know where to go and search for them. So if you click on that, it'll go out and do a search online for the software. And this can take a few minutes, so be patient. And as I was saying, you can do the same for each and every one of those other drivers there so it came back best driver software for your device is already installed Windows has determined that the driver software for your device is up to date and that's the chipset family controller interface controller so you can close that and close that now if there's a problem with this and say it's actually say if you have a sluggish computer and you think it may be the driver that's causing the problem which is a good idea to check these once every six months you can download the driver so we're going to close that and we're going to go out onto the internet and you have to go to your manufacturers the motherboard manufacturers website so your manual will give you the information you need for what to, uh, what's the name the model number of your motherboard so then you go to say in this case it's asus for this particular so you go asus drivers and support asus.com will be the first one on the top there just click on that one and then you have to put in the model number of the motherboard so in this case, it is P8ZXD8-V space LX. And then click search. And what it does is it goes out, it checks the, the, the server and brings back the board. So what, it, what you do here then is you click on this guy. It gives you just one option for this particular board. So there's no different there's two different types of this model of board, so you're being very specific here of what you're looking for. So make sure you have the motherboard. If it's a if it's a laptop, then you'll get that information again by going through the laptop maker's website, and you'll be able to get these drivers. So you click on that guy, and then it asks you here. You required is the operating system, and for this particular 
desktop computer it's Windows 7 64 bit yours might be 32 bit or it could be Vista or Windows 8 so it's searching there loading seeing what drivers are available for this motherboard so it's found um, a whole load of them there so see these guys here and the ones that we were looking for is the chipset very important to have these updated so you want to be checking these at least every 12 months if not every six months now there are four chipset drivers here now you can download all of them you should download all of them and install them these would be the ones that were already installed on your computer but these are updated ones so they have um, improvements made to this to the software so that the, the, the drivers work better and communicate better with your with your with your motherboard with components on the motherboard so how do you download them so you click on the global one here seems to be the best one to um, download them so as i said you can download each and every one of them they all play different um, roles you know this is an engine interface management this one is a chipset installation utility this one is management interface again probably one is intel yeah and the other one is for asus and the top one here is the chipset driver and this is the one we're interested in here so click on the global download button there and that will start the download and you can save the file now these files can take see there it says 20 minutes and i have it already downloaded but we're not going to wait for that this is all depend on how fast your internet connection is so we're going to stop that we have it already downloaded so we're just going to stop pause that one there so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open the other one so open containing folder right click and open containing folder and it'll show you where it is and you just go and copy it and put it on your desktop so right click somewhere on your desktop you just close that right click somewhere on your desktop and click on paste and that's coming up as a, so I have it copied already onto it so you get this um, zip file so what do you do with the zip file you right click and you extract all and this will make another folder on your desktop so click on extract there and it'll say files will be extracted to this folder so desktop so it'll be C users owner desktop so it'll be on me desktop and it'll be Intel chipset V930 1019 XP Vista Windows 7 so we're going to extract click on that guy then the folder will be made so that you can open it and run the, the, the chipset drivers so this is a, it's a fairly substantial size folder file so it can take a while so there it is and it opens the file so it opens the folder and then you can double click on it go in here into drivers and then chipset and then you see asus setup.exe file so double click on that guy there you go yes to the user account control and then it'll run the file you get the option to run the file so so then you just run the file just click on run there again this will take 30 seconds before it'll come up again maybe a little longer maybe a little shorter depending you think there's nothing going on but it will come up eventually you just have to be patient with these drivers we're just going to minimize that minimize that and the website and we just wait for the file to pop up here so it took um, just over a minute for this to pop up and this is the one then for the chipset driver so click next 
and then this window will open you must accept uh, t license and terms terms of license click yes and then chipset software give you the version that's going to be downloaded and all that this version is already installed on this one but if yours was an older one then this would run through with no problem and then it goes finished because this uh, is already installed it's coming up with successfully installed so it knows it's already there but yours if it wasn't it would go away and install the driver and then come back and you'd get this window and you click finish and your computer would restart at this stage okay so that's how you um, install the chipset driver for a computer and as I was saying earlier all the other ones can be done the same way with the method of just updating from device manager okay